Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. In today's video, I want to go over a few of the things that I use outside for my watering chores in the garden. And this is going to be kind of a fun video because we have partnered with Gilmore and they're going to be giving away 10 sets of everything that I'm talking about today. So for details on that giveaway, check out the description section below and I'll go over it later on in the video as well. So let's just jump right into the first thing and it's a 75 foot medium duty hose. Now I know I've showed you this hose in the past and kind of explained the reasons why I like to use this particular one. Um, there's a couple of reasons. The first one is is that it's a manageable weight as opposed to maybe a heavier duty hose. Typically I have to hook two of these together, so two 75 foot lengths in order to get everywhere I need to go. So if it's a heavier hose, it's just a lot harder to move around and I really appreciate being able to move it easily. The second reason I like it is because it actually saves me time because I don't always have to go track down the kinks to fix them. Now this is not a kink proof hose. I don't think there actually is a hose that will never kink. I wish there was. It does resist kinking though. Um, but I find with this one that if you give it kind of a sharp tug or kind of twist it right where you're holding it oftentimes that will fix the kink and you kind of kind of go about your business without having to set the hose down go find the kink to fix it i mean there's nothing more annoying than having to do that right in the middle of your watering chores so that's one of the reasons like the main reasons why i've chosen this hose now you can go um, with more durable like the super duty line we use those down at the garden center because we've got forklifts driving over them all the time and we just need something that will hold up to that everybody's application is a little bit different but i find for like a home garden this is a really good option at least for me anyway as far as specs go this particular hose is 75 feet but you can get it in multiple different lengths it has a diameter of 5 8 inch which is one of the reasons why it is a little bit lighter weight but I do find that the amount of water that comes out is really perfect for what I'm using it for which is usually container plantings um, occasional watering and flower beds things like that and it does have a standard three-quarter inch hose connection which allows you to hook it up to any faucet next up is this rectangular sprinkler which we've been using a lot in one area of our garden so this area actually does have an in-ground sprinkler system but it's not efficient it needs to have a major overhaul it just hasn't made it to the top of our budget priority list yet so it's nice to have a sprinkler that covers a rectangular sized area because that's what this area is. So this sprinkler has multiple ways that you can adjust it and you can look at the sprinkler and easily tell where all the adjustments are because they're indicated by the color aqua. You can control how wide the water goes by using the controls on either end and then you can actually control the length as well by either bringing these in closer together or moving them further apart. And then it also has an on off flow control on the sprinkler, which at first I didn't know if I would use, but it is a really nice feature because I know we've all been there setting a sprinkler out in the lawn and then you go back to the faucet and you spend forever trying to figure out how much pressure to give that sprinkler. It's either too much and you're getting the house wet or not enough, so you're not getting your full coverage in the area you need it. So with this sprinkler, you can figure out what kind of pressure you need for each area. You can set it on the sprinkler and then you can go to the faucet and turn it on full pressure and you know that it's gonna be necked down to whatever it needs to be for the area you've got the sprinkler. The last thing about this sprinkler, and I think this might be my favorite feature, is that it has a swivel connect. So that means when you hook it up to your hose, it will move independently from that hose. I have some smaller sprinklers, which I do use around here, like the old school ones, that if you've got a stiff hose and you set that sprinkler out, that hose will wanna flip that sprinkler around and maybe like shoot the water in a different direction. When you have a sprinkler with a swivel connect, it'll allow you to set your sprinkler down. Doesn't matter what your hose is doing, it will remain flat on the ground and water where you need it to water. And the last one is this thumb control watering nozzle, which I think has three things going for it. First of all, it has a swivel connect just like the sprinkler, so it moves independently from your hose, which means you will have far less kinks and far less monkeying with your hose. It also has the thumb control, which is super important to me. I do not like the type that you have, like kind of the trigger, trigger mechanism, where you have to actively hold down for the water to flow out. I like that you can set it at whatever kind of level you want, either all the way open or halfway or closed. Um, that's really handy to me to be able to do that with my thumb. And the last thing this has is eight different ways that you can adjust the water to come out of the end of the nozzle. And there's little pictures here indicating how the water will actually flow out. So if you're a visual person, that's really nice. The way I use it the most often is with the jet stream, which allows you to go the distance with a really concentrated stream of water, which is really nice to get cobwebs off of our house or out of tall trees. I also use it to clean off sidewalks. I also like to use the mister setting when I'm watering seedlings in particular because the stream is gentle and soft so it doesn't knock them all over. It has a fill setting which allows for quite a bit more flow. So if you have buckets or watering cans to fill up, you can do it really quickly without having to take the entire nozzle off. And then there's the classic shower setting which allows you to water plants in containers, vegetable gardens, flower beds. 
Uh, now I have to be a little bit careful with this one because we have really hard water in our area which can leave white spots on foliage, but it should work great for those of you who live in areas that don't have hard water. So that's pretty much it guys. Those are three things that I use quite a bit out in my landscape. Now as far as the giveaway goes, it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is comment below this video. Like I said, there are going to be 10 winners. Gilmore is giving 10 sets of three of these things away. Um, so we're going to be picking five winners from YouTube and five winners from Facebook. So you have two chances to win. So make sure that you're commenting below the video on each platform. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and a huge thank you to Gilmore for partnering with us and for doing this giveaway. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.